Barb actually came up with the idea because she's a big reader um, with classic novels. Uh, we just thought that we can collaborate story themes and children's books all together in one show. And then we had to go back and revisit books and some of the books that we read didn't make it to the cut so we read a lot more books than what were really what's on the walls. Um, and then we had to paint on top of it. Each piece has something different. Peter Pan and Wendy, you're just seeing him hold her hand and take her away because to me, I didn't really have to see all of them. You just had to see him sweeping her off her feet and that's all that really mattered. I actually liked books that when I start reading them when I was older. Um, as an immigrant, the children's books didn't mean as much to me as I guess as when I got to be like in high school. So I would say one of my favorite book would be The Heart of Darkness. Um, it's, I, I like the way it kind of perceives so many depths all in one book and how anyone can be so simple and so naive can become something so different and anyone can be a victim of that. Like, I'm more intrigued by books like that. And I've, I've just always read classics. I, I really probably haven't read a, a current book, maybe ever. I think they hold different meanings. As you grow older, you get more out of them. Every time you read them, there's always something else. It's not just, just a children's book. Charlotte's Web is so many more levels than just a children's book. And Withering Heights, when I was in grade 11 and I first read it, meant one thing. And as a 47-year-old, it means something completely different now, which I really like. I like the fact that these books are timeless and the stories are timeless.